Yeah. Why not? I think it'll be much better. I think so. I mean, it frees our hands up, that's for sure. Well, that and people can actually hear me. What? You're old. Ha! He still doesn't talk loud enough. I don't know what you're talking about. You're on the Moser Report. <laughs> The Moser Report is brought to you by TheMetamart.com. TheMetamart.com is now accepting any WoW TCG related content, as well as having the broadest selection of singles found anywhere on the internet. TheMetamart.com also has a buy list with hundreds of cards spanning every set in the game. Whether you want to buy, sell, or trade, check out TheMetamart.com. And uh, hey guys, when you do, tell them Mozu sent you. All right, Joe, welcome back. Welcome, welcome. How are yeah. you? Pretty good, pretty good. How about yourself? It's a good weekend. It was a good weekend, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid dogs. Yeah. All right, guys, um, welcome back to the Moser Report. we got a ton of stuff to talk to you about tonight. Um, big stuff happened this weekend. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, yeah. Kind like, of a big tournament this weekend you showed know, up. The 417 people that got together in, in Prague and turned cards sideways? Yeah, you know, just it's kind of big. Yeah, you know. Congrats wow. on uh, blowing NACC <laughs> out of the water. And, and APCC. APCC. Yeah, I mean, Thanks, eh, me whatever, there's beer in the fridge. Yeah. But uh, it's Kilt Lifter. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Yeah, me too. All right, um, yeah, 417 people in Prague. Wow. Yeah, and I mean, even then, you know, you know, they cut to top 96, you know, in day two. 280 <laughs> people sat down for the DMF then. Like, yeah, sealed DMF, 280 wow. after that. I mean, granted, Prague's not Vegas. So it's not like there's quite the nightlife, but dear God in heaven, 280? You want to talk about a judge staff? I, hey guys, I suffered through NACC this year judging. I can't even imagine what the judge staff went through with that many people. You know, I mean, and, and the biggest thing is, is, you know, um, you know, Mr. Soul Warrior over there definitely posted a nice article oh. about the the diversity of the decks since the Tomb of the Forgotten has come out. Yeah, way to go, um, Ollie. Good coverage, buddy. You know, Blue Hunter still had a really, really big, really, really yeah. big showing. It did. It did. But you know what? It wasn't the majority of the top 16. No, only six of the top 16 were, uh, well, only five Alliance Hunters. And then one, uh, one Horde Hunter showed up there. You which know, is kind of I mean, odd. The, the top 16 diversity is, is huge. It was. It was you great. Know, there's what? Uh, eight different, eight, nine different decks, roughly? Yeah. Six. Six different classes, anyway. Six different classes. And I'm sure that they played a little different here and there. Horde and Alliance and things like that. Like, that's yeah. huge. Yeah. It um, is not the stagnant meta that people think it is. Not that it was for NACC. No. No, absolutely not. It was good stuff. Um, obviously, hopefully, you guys saw our very special, and way to go, sir, report slash interview with uh, Pierre, the winner, obviously, of of uh, EUCC. Ran through it with, I'm sorry, what? Sorry, Red Rogue. Maybe if you could talk. Yeah, well, talking's overrated. Red Rogue, hello. Yeah, and you know what? I yeah. mean, a lot of the cards in his deck weren't new. No, no, they really weren't. As a matter of fact, here's the deck list. I mean, Datic. Datic and Agra. Yeah, Datic and Agra were the only new cards. Now, but granted, I'll tell you what, they're I'll, huge cards. I'll tell you what. I guarantee you his deck's an auto loss against Solo, which there wasn't a whole lot of. No, there wasn't. There wasn't. And, yeah. You know, I mean, maybe not auto loss, but, you know, he definitely has a hard time. I mean, the deck is geared to handle Oh, it wipes allies out allies. I mean, look at... All day long. You saw that removal suite. I mean, dear God in heaven. It's like everything just, no, get away. Lots of two, three, four for ones. Just huge. So, you know, all that being said, um, also congrats to, con congrats to uh, Ansi for, you know, unfortunately coming in second, but playing very well. Oh, uh, obviously, with Blue yeah. Hunter. Um, Way to go, Ans. You know... It, 470 people still just blows my mind. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, I mean, you hear about it for other games bigger oh, than that. Man. But, I mean, for a wow, while, thank you. And, of course, this helped dispel the whole, 
you know, people talking about the prices of cards. This shows demand is up. Yeah, for sure. I mean, there are, you know, there is just demand here. You had 300 plus for NACC, 300 plus for APCC. Now, 400 plus for EUCC. Now, know at least one guy that did make it to all three. Janos from Hungary. Yep. Made it to all three. He judged in uh, NACC, played in APCC, judged in EUCC. Yep. You are a traveler, sir, and more power to you. You know, uh, with, with all that going out there, um, you know, both of us would like to put out a special thanks to uh, both Matthias and... And Ollie. And Ollie for, yeah. you know, all the help that you guys gave us, the great articles... Um, obviously Matthias for overseeing everything and, and things like that. Right. You guys did great. The, the event came across this way very well. Um, sure. Absolutely. And part of that awesome. credit then also has to go to the head judge, Thomas Botage. Obviously, if your event goes well, your head judge had something to do with it. Cheers. Good on you, buddy. Obviously, good stuff. So, all the Continental Championships are done. They are. We're... Wow. We... Now what? Break it down to states. Sweet. You know, I know some people have, have gotten their CZE tour thing going on. That's true. It's out there. I hope you guys are having fun. Yeah. Uh, draft League's coming up, which is great. Yeah, we've got ours draft coming. Draft Rally, sorry. The Draft Rallies, right. Uh, we got ours coming next month. Yep. Um, along with my birthday. Awesome. Okay. I wish this Yahoo a happy birthday when the time comes. <laughs> uh, you know... A lot of a lot of more local things coming up here in the future, as opposed sure. to you know the large grander scale. But at the same, Gen Con. <laughs> man, no one cares. I can't go. And I can't. Um, you know, lots of good stuff. It's gonna be it's gonna be busy. It is. I mean, if you look at our even our schedule right away, I mean, you've got the third of August is the draft. Hey guys, are you tired of searching dozens of sites on the web for the best Warcraft TCG deals? Hey, you could be visiting ccgcastle.com. Since 2007, they've been supplying the community with massive selection of discount packs, singles, and more, all at guaranteed rock bottom prices. And don't forget to check out their buy list to trade in your loots for the hottest new cards. That's right, guys. Moses sending you to ccgcastle.com. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're rambling here. Yeah, so sure. I Lots think of at this stuff. point, you know, we've we've gone out, you know, we've we've talked about a UCC, we've talked about the upcoming stuff. I personally would like to throw an extra special thanks out there. Oh yeah? I would. Um it, it, it gets said at every single event. Right. That are, that's larger scale that has a lot of volunteers, but you know what? I personally want to give a special thanks to all the volunteers, all the judges, all the staff that really make these events possible you can't run it without them that's for sure you can't it and, won't happen and, i mean to be honest everything comes together everyone bands together you put in the hours you put in the time and you, you, you have these great these great rewards that that come out of it for everyone else um it takes a special person to actually step aside and work an event as opposed to go and play in it and to all of you i want to say thanks me too Thanks. I appreciate it. I've been on both sides. I know I, you've been. I have too. We both have. We've both done the player and we've d both done the volunteer side. And it is hard work. And it's a lot of fun. And you get to meet some great people. And uh, yeah, it definitely is. You know, obviously stepping aside to do more of this stuff is a little hard. Yeah. But, uh, well, hard slash hell yeah, my own fucking boss. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> All right, Joe. Well, speaking of our new uh, interview capability. Ooh. Got a little something else that uh, kind of snuck in, recorded uh, when you weren't around, unfortunately. You were out doing other stuff, and I'd like to show it to everybody else. Is it a special report? It might be a special report. Let's roll that footage. Oh, yeah. Giggity! Ladies and gentlemen, coming to you live from Prague, I've got Oliver German out here. Ollie, how you doing? Hello, everyone. I'm good. I'm great. We're on vacation in Prague. Right after the largest continentals of all times. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, I'm rubbing it in, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was right. awesome. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So what was the feel on, on site for how things were going? How did, how did that feel? Um, 
you could definitely tell that people were extremely excited about the event being large. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I apologize for the ridiculous music in the background. We're in some coffee shop in Prague, which is not the same as a coffee shop in Amsterdam, just to let you people know. Um, yeah, and it's all European. Yeah. What do you want? <laughs> Let's see. How did how did you feel the meta changed with uh, with Tomb? I mean, we looked at Pierre's deck real quick, and of course, it only had Agra and Daedic, which obviously huge freaking cards. But um, how will how much do you think it shook it up? He felt like Extortion was the key card that made the deck work. Okay. Um, I, because I was surprised about that, but I I, I don't know. You you interviewed him, and I don't exactly know what you guys were talking about. But no, when when I, I asked him. Either. All right. When I asked him about the deck, <laughs> he felt like extortion was the card that made the deck. Okay. That that made the deck possible. He um I think there were like two different stories to the deck, uh depending on who you were talking to. And um Pierre said that extortion was like the key. They they had this idea of a deck that stops hunter. Right. Obviously. And um they tried it with different classes. I don't know which card it was, to be honest. There was like some some cards that they felt they absolutely. Oh yeah, I, I remember now. They absolutely wanted to have, uh, well, Mazukon obviously in the deck. Sure. And Daedak, and then they tried different classes to make it work because they felt those are strong answers to some of the threats. Some of the threats, people, please don't flame me for that. Just some of the, I know the hunt has a million threats, and it's not a mid-range right. deck. It's an aggressive deck. I've heard it all this weekend. <laughs> um, right. So um, they just tried different classes, and they felt that the rogue was the one with the with the best answers and the most answers because you have all this cheap removal for all those uh, well, cheap cards, basically, like the tokens and stuff. And then they said extortion was the card that that really made the deck because you you can they they described turns which were so amazing. They were like, I, I get you a Mazukon, I attack you for six, I destroy it for my own shadow fan keep, I get another token, and it will hang around. So yeah. I just stole your card and tempo. Uh, yeah. What are you gonna do? And no, yeah. So basically, what I feel about the meta game is uh, I think it's still not. Um, people have still not unlocked all the stuff that is in Tomb. Okay. Because the, the first response was always like, "Oh, this set is not that strong." But now you have seen two new decks emerge right. um, from with the key cards being Tomb cards, which was the the Warlock, the Breakout deck in the APCC. And now the rogue deck, the breakout deck of the EUCC, and you got Hans's deck as well. I don't 100% know. I, I think Malfour's Gift is playing a major role in that deck, but I don't even know from so. which deck. It, from which oh, general Hussam is extremely important for that deck. Oh yeah, because, the general is crazy. Yeah, so yeah. basically, Tomb already made three decks, three brand new decks. Not that many sets can say that about itself. Um, right. So I, I I feel it's a good set. It's just still that people don't have found all the tools it provides. <laughs> all right. Well, Ali, thanks obviously for taking the time um, to uh, talk to us all the way from Prague. So that is awesome. Good to uh, you know. I'm glad that we got this bit worked out so I can actually branch out and talk to folks that can't make it to my living room in Tucson. So that's always <laughs> a good thing. And, uh, you know, safe travels. Enjoy. And uh, definitely, you know, thanks for being on the report. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Absolutely. For cool. Anytime, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I, you know, if, if you ask me, my official response will be 31. 31? You don't want to get hit. You're scared. I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> I, I didn't do that. I, I didn't say that. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to comment on that one. Okay. 31 is my final answer to that question. <laughs> Please take 31 for the win, Alex. <laughs> I hated you. Now I want to kill you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Some folks...
Some folks they, have the camera shy. Mm, you know. I'm I'm one of them. Oh yeah, you're camera shy. And oh yeah. Means, and I'm quiet. I never speak. I agree 100%. <laughs>